What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Monday morning, about to have my coffee. And the great one was catching up on his YouTube videos. And, you know, I always like tuning into some of my favorites, such as Vegan Gains and, of course, uh, Mr. Uh, Frank Tofano. And it seems as though he's made one of his other outrageous rants about this Adam Starowitz person there, which he's ranted on for quite some time, and he's made in making, he made recently a very slanderous and insidious video about him. So, Frank, I'm going to, I had, uh, no one hasn't really addressed this so much. You keep calling him your business partner, your business partner, your business partner. So the great one decided to do a little bit of research, decided to go speak to a couple people, you know. Honestly, I had already spoke with these people months ago. But seeing as how you made that rant, now it's it's a good time to actually start getting into some of that business anyway. Now, number one, Adam Starowitz was not your fucking business partner, okay? He was your chief operating officer of Frankie's Fresh Meats here. That's a big difference between business partner and a chief operating officer. So basically, he worked for you. Number two, you keep insisting that this $19,000 is missing. Do you have any fucking proof whatsoever? You've not shown anything. Uh, the fact that it's kind of weird that you would go and have all of your business assets from your YouTube subscribers put into his bank account. Yet you call him a stranger. Now, what kind of person would meet someone off the street and just go ahead and deposit almost $20,000 into the bank account? You are not telling the entire truth, Frank. Something's fishy there. You know what I mean? It's fishy, like Long John Silvers, Captain D's, you know, Moby Dick. It's all fishy, man. I swear. But in any event, you also get mad at him. And let's put aside the $19,000 because your ass can't prove that he did anything other than what he said to do with it. You know, uh, food tasting and stuff like that. You, you do know food critics uh, opinions in magazines and publications can make all the difference for business there. So uh, let me just let you in on that. Not saying that that was the case whatsoever, but unless you have some fucking proof that he actually stole and pocketed the money, you know, you, your, your car has no fucking wheels on it there, okay? Number two, you get mad and upset over a walk-in freezer. I mean, seriously, $50,000 for a walk-in freezer? Yeah, I will admit that is a pretty high expense for a walk-in freezer. I will give you that, but at the same time, Adam Starwitz is your chief operating officer, which you have assigned to make those types of decisions here, you know? So even though he paid $50,000, what, how is that his fault there? It's, it could have been naive. He did, may not have shopped around, but that's not a crime making a bad business decision on purchasing a fucking freezer, you know? You're the one, after all, who made him the chief operating officer. And, and one thing one thing that always amuses me, why would you? I mean, for the most part, he's been just a, a sous chef and an executive chef at some small restaurants or so forth. Is there any reason why that you wouldn't have consulted with someone else with more experience, more uh, credentials or so forth? And I think the reason being is you needed the cheapest thing you can find out there, you know, who specialized in meats. So basically a chef. Let us chefs know about meat, you know. And that you instead of uh, getting, some, getting someone that actually worked in, you know, uh, into the beef and meat industry, you just went and got a chef instead. And I think the purpose was mainly for sanitary health purposes there, you know. You, you just you, you, the truth is, I don't really think that you pulled him off the street there. You're you're just still lying. You're not telling the whole truth. But it doesn't really matter anyway. Good job making the video. You make the case for Adam Starwitz a lot easier. You make the case for Paul Saladino. Excuse me, Dr. 
Paul Salandino's case a much easier for them to basically blast you into outer space, you know? I mean, good job, Frank. You 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 a dumbass. You a fucking goof for going up there sitting on the porch of your parents' house. Why don't you get a house anyway, you know? Why are you living with your parents anyway? That's another story. But in this case, you made the case for Adam Starwitz more easier. You made the case for Dr. Dr. Paul Salandino's case a little quick. I don't know what's up with you and and co and calling him a, basically a child pedophile and everything like that. I mean, seriously, you know, that that's basically slander. I don't know what your problem is. Re bragging about registering his website, that's slander. I mean, geez, you make things so easy and you think even your lawyer is ripping off. Your, your lawyer's probably telling you to shut the fuck up there, you know, Wh which is what you should do. You should just sit back and shut the fuck up, you know. Frank, I've tried to help you out quite a while ago. I told you to get legal shield. I've told you to get some legal and mental health. Uh, and I also told you just to simply focus on your business and stop worrying about $19,000 or $50,000 freezer. You got the $50,000 freezer. It'll probably pay for itself within a few years, uh, you know, because you need a meat freezer in order to, you know, basically run your business. It's an essential product. You can't do anything without it, period. But the level of slander that you have committed upon uh, Adam Starwitz and Dr. Paul Saladino is going to come back and bite you in the ass once again. I mean, you're, you're, you're just a fucking idiot. You're, you're a goof. And as far as arbitrary courts are concerned, there's it's not a ripoff. It really is about $30,000. It's quite expensive. But this is in the case as far as the what you're pleading there. Now, if you feel that Adam Starwitz went and actually stole from you, uh, go file a police report. Go call Crime Stoppers. Go, go find uh, Crime Dog McRuff. He's a dog that walks around in a fucking trench coat. Why don't you go find him, you know? File a police report, you know? Go to the FBI. Call Inspector Gadget, you know? I hear Starsky and Hutch is uh, doing a reboot. You can call them up. Maybe T.J. Hooker, you know, William Shackner just went into fucking outer space. Hey, T.J. Hooker's still around there. Why don't you go call him, motherfucker? Frank, you're a fucking idiot, you know. And whenever you make videos like this, people laugh at you. Sort of like a monkey chucking his poo and people walk through the zoo and laugh at that monkey throwing his poo. You're, you, my friend Frank Tefano, are that monkey throwing poo. And guess what? When you throw poo, usually it comes right back on you.